Hey Leos, welcome to your reading. Let's see what's in the energy. I have two new oracle decks. The first is Haunted Echoes and the next is a Secret to SEX Confessions. And I'm going to do use both of these and clarify with tarot. We're first going to do the Haunted Echoes piece. Do remember that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. You're responsible for your own actions, and I hope you guys enjoy. I also want to say thank you guys for all the love and support recently, and all the new subscribers, and all my subscribers from like the original, you know, time when I first started. It's really cool that you're still here. So thank you. All right, guys, let's see what's going on for Leo. By the way, guys, happy birthday, Leos. <laughs> it's so cool that it's our birthday month finally. I'm a Leo sun, uh, Virgo rising, Capricorn moon. All right, let's see. What's in the energy for Leo? What do they need to know? Okay, so we have restless spirit. Unresolved issues keep you from finding true peace. Address what haunts you. Dark forest, embrace your light and dark side for both are needed deep revelations. I know what this is about. Okay, so silent ruins. Give voice to past trauma to find your peace within. Express your feelings. All right. So a few things I'm getting right away from the shadow energy. Like I said, if you're more interested in the in the spicy stuff, just skip to the end or like uh, probably about halfway of the reading. Um, if you're here for shadow work, you're welcome to stay with me. So... This embrace your light and dark. There are times, especially in this 3D world, when we are being called to use the, um, I don't want to say manipulation, but it's, it's almost like there are times when we need to be a little bit cutthroat and ruthless and it comes to, it comes down to survival, right? So... For example, let's say there's someone at work um, and this particular person is someone that is able to talk themselves out of any sort of hole, you know, and this is particularly after they've dug themselves the hole, okay? So this person, for some reason, they dig themselves a hole and they're able to talk themselves out. And, you're, and you may be seeing some sort of pattern with this. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because you could see the tricks they're using and you may need to kind of, I don't want to say use it against them, but you may need to give them a taste of their own medicine. So there's someone here that you need to be very careful about what you say things to or about or around like I would not give this person any information and anyone that they are talking to I would not give those people information because inevitably even if they don't like this person the moment that they feel I'm getting very much like 3d drama stuff okay so all right <clears throat> I'll, I'll dig into it with the tarot in a moment, though. Silent ruins. Give voice to past trauma to find your peace within. Express your feelings. Some of you could also do this thing where you do not speak your truth. You do not speak up when something is blatantly kind of crazy. Um, and you tend to kind of just, <clears throat> you maybe go behind the scenes and, and talk to people. But there may, there may be a need to go direct to the source and say something very clearly and plainly so that this person sees something. You could, you could tend to maybe dance around the subject or maybe you even like you talk to, like you use a network. I'm seeing Leo that you use a network. So there's a need for you to go direct to the source and not the network. Okay. So let's say, you know, uh, let's say, let's say you, I don't know, let's say you know someone and you know someone around them is being sneaky, weird, and 
it's almost like someone may need the confirmation of the knowledge that you have about this person in order to <clears throat> move forward with something, okay? Because this person, whoever this is, they will not take an ounce of time or they will not waste an ounce of time to go behind your back. You know what I mean? That's, I do not, I'm getting, do not give someone the benefit of the doubt. Do not. Restless spirit. Unresolved issues keep you from finding your true peace. Address what haunts you. I mean, it's, it's the same thing as silent ruins. Restless spirit, silent ruins, dark forest. I'm seeing you have allies here, Leo. There could be up to three people that are working with you. <clears throat> I feel like you've been silent up until now, in a way, like you have been holding back. You've been holding back and kind of dancing around the issue and playing someone's game. But I feel like no one knows the game better than you, Leo, and I feel like it's your time to shine. Okay, if you needed any sort of confirmation to go for whatever this is, to... It's like you need to let the lion roar. You need to let someone know who the fuck is boss. Excuse my language. <laughs> because this person thinks that they can manipulate you and they think they can also manipulate the people that you're dealing with. What's restless spirit? Five of cups in the reverse. There's need for you to reconcile this for yourself, for your own. There's there's a need for you to stop crying over spilt milk. It's, it's, it's a need for you to take charge, take the bull by the horns. This is not a time to be pussyfooting, as they say. Four of coins, the sun in reverse. It's like someone, it's like someone here is holding on to there may have been a time at which in the past you have done this where you have held on to maybe being like kind of like the more diplomatic voice in a situation. You're being called, yes, exactly, here you are. You're actually being called to let your inner lion roar. Like I'm talking, it's time to do your big one, Leo. Five of Wands. There's someone that keeps competing with you and it's time to show them who is boss, okay? Justice in reverse. This is someone who is going behind your back. This is someone who is, it's, it's time. It's time for this person. It's time. You may be have to, you may have to be crafty about it. You may have to be, you may have to show evidence. You may have to show proof, but you're being called to do it. Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah, this person destroys things constantly. They are just, they are a destroyer. They destroy things for themselves. You may notice everything around this person crumbling, but this person, like, whoever this is that is doing the destroying, they're always coming up above everyone else. It's because they are actually destroying things for other people to make themselves look better. <clears throat> you may not, you may, like, not want to look like the, uh, if, as you can see, I'm, I'm channeling a lot right now and I feel... I'm feeling this like very intense, just, I want to roar. <laughs> like, I just want to go outside and just scream, right? You could be feeling the same way. What's restless spirit? The page of cups as a challenge. What's the page of cups as a challenge? Six of coins reverse. Okay. All right. So I'm getting a separate message. Maybe this isn't about work as well. There's There could be a personal situation. Maybe this is a relationship. Whoever this page of cups is as a challenge with the six of coins with them, this is someone who came in with a small, tiny offer. Could be a date. Could be, I don't know. Maybe this is someone you're involved with. Whoever this is, they think they could six of pentacles and reverse you, which means they thought that they could do better. Okay. This is someone who thought they could do better. So they may have revoked their offer, but they didn't really revoke it. They only like sort of did, you know what I mean? So they like, 
I don't know if they wanted to see you jump or if they wanted you to beg or what, but I feel like, Leo, you are not doing any jumping and you're not begging anyone for this, okay? This is something where this person is a page and you're a queen or a king of wands and they think that a little tiny page, a little tiny small page can come in and do better than you. I mean, I'm being a little karmic right now. I feel like I'm, I'm channeling some karmic energy, but to be fair, and I might be being a little petty, but I feel like whoever this is, Leo, did not deserve you from the beginning anyway. You were giving them a chance to show themselves, they failed. So if anything, this is God's protection for sure, but don't think for a chance or a moment that they're not gonna regret this, because they will, okay? What silent ruins give voice to past trauma to find within with to find peace within? Yeah, Page of Wands. This is this is you. You're the fire sign here. You're going on. You're gonna be going on a. You're just peaceful. You're gonna be in this energy of nothing can touch you. Okay. You're going on a new adventure. This could be a new love offer, a new uh, venture in business. This could be <clears throat> many options you have. Three of Swords. I feel like you're ending something with someone who shouldn't have even been around you to begin with. This person is like small potatoes. You know what I mean? This is like no one you need to even bother with. So <laughs> I really have no idea why I'm being so uppity right now. I'm usually not like this. Watch my other readings. But um, <clears throat> Leo, I feel like there's someone else coming in. So I'm going to grab this secret SEX confessions and we're going to get to this new person. Okay. You may already know them as well. Whew. That got me heated. <laughs> I'm heated, guys. <laughs> what is this energy? <laughs> it's our birthday month. You know, it's it's our entire birthday month, by the way. If you know any sort of Leo, you know that we don't mess around when it comes to August and our birthdays. Because you know what it is about us, Leo, is that we spend the entire rest of the year pulling, pushing people up and, and making sure that they're feeling better. Now, when it's our turn, it's our turn to feel better. And if, it, if people don't go along with it, we're just going to go along by ourselves and have a great time. Okay. Oh. So let's find out uh, what are the secret confessions from Leo's person? What are these secret confessions? Interesting. <laughs> I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck, pretend to be a stranger tonight. Um, I feel like your person wants you to play a little game with them. And I don't mean this in a way where like in a creepy way, but like, let's say, let's say you're, how do I get this? It's almost like they want you to pretend to be someone else and you can do that in so many different ways but to do it in a way that it's not creepy you know what I mean <laughs> you gotta figure that one out so next up we have oh I want you to undress me slowly so they want you to remove I'm getting like I'm seeing like this like two people kissing and then you're just like taking off their clothes and it's this really nice sensual um, vision I want to blindfold you and take you by surprise. This person wants to like mess with you. They want to like put, you, they want to blindfold you and just play with your senses and see how you react. Kind of like, you know, when you go to the doctor's office and they like test your, um, <laughs> they test your reflexes. It's like that because something about the unexpected and doing things unexpectedly to people is, is what gets this person going. They like like unexpected energy, which is why I said they may want you to pretend to be someone else. Like, I don't know if they mean like, even like messaging them from like another, like an alt or something and just kind of being like, hey, sexy. And then just like seeing what happens from there. But like, don't be weird. I don't know. Maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe that's a bad idea. <laughs> Okay, so show me your inner ex exhibitionist. 
this person wants you to show off to them. They want you to do something different. Like if you usually send them pictures of like a certain angle, they want to see a different angle. Okay. They may even want you to, I'm getting like go with a third party and like show them that. Like they may like, um, this person may be someone who actually likes, um, there's a specific word when, uh, if you have an open relationship and someone sleeps with someone else, they may like actually seeing you with other people. It kind of, it, it sparks them a little bit. Like they do feel a little jealous, but it's like, it gets them excited, if that makes sense. Not in a bad, it's like not bad jealousy. It's almost like, ooh, it's almost like they know their person's wanted and that makes them want you more. Okay. Tell me what you want me to do with, to you. Okay. This person wants to hear in detail what, what, um, you want them to do to you. Give me little love bites all over. This person likes a little bit of teeth. Okay. Just like a little bit. They don't want you to like chomp on them to death or anything, but they do like a little bit of teeth, nibbles, stuff like that. This, <laughs> this person might actually like being watched while they undress. Um, they may actually like being, they like showing off. They, this person may have Leo in their chart somewhere, but if not, this person is a little bit of an exhibitionist themselves. They like being like called sexy. They like being, um, they like being admired, you know, just like you do. Okay. Tell me more about Leo's person. Knight of coins in reverse. Oh, oh, Leo. Leo. So there may be two people in your energy. You may have a knight of coins in reverse energy, which is something that's really not working out. It's unstable. And then you have an emperor here. So this could also be something moving extremely slow to the point where it's past like, excuse me, someone walking through sludge. Okay. Something may have not worked out in the past. Force, there you are. Strength, bottom of the deck. The sun in reverse. It's like something's hidden about this, but you're holding on to it. Something's hidden about it, but you're feeling good about it. Page of Wands, upright. I, I feel like, Leo, you have very you have a lot of suitors, okay? You have a lot of suitors, and there's that Five of Cups reverse, Page of Cups. Yeah, um, you have, like, another suitor here, this Five of Cups reverse, Page of Cups energy. Um, this is someone who wants to reconcile with you. They want to reconcile. They're going to send you some sort of message about reconciliation. This person has missed you. They may not tell you that they miss you, but they do if you're not, because the five of cups in reverse means that it was upright, meaning that you guys are in some sort of separation physically and miss each other. Ten of swords reverse, the worst of the situ which situation is over, Leo, and the queen of wands upright, this, this is you. This is you, you're the fucking queen, okay? Two of Wands, there's something happening in the future with you too. There's a little bit of shaky energy with this. I'm seeing a little bit of shaky energy. And behind the Two of Wands, behind the future, in the past, what I'm, what I'm seeing is a little bit of codependency. So this could be you guys, I feel like this is someone you have history with. Um, you guys can have a little bit of codependency upon each other. And I feel like you're working that out now. I feel like you're more at a more stable place where you can not need each other, but like you still like to kind of, it's like, have you ever seen that video? It's like two people and they're on like this disc and they're walking in separate directions and they're walking around the disc and they're kind of like doing this whole like little weird dance and like they eventually always end up coming back together. Like that's, it's like a, I like to call something like that, like a comet relationship. It's like you guys do your thing. You're very independent. Um, but then you always end up back together for like these special moments. So what else about Leo's? Where is this? How does this person feel about Leo? Page of Wands. Oh, Leo, they want you bad. Page of Wands. I mean, it's not Knight of Wands. I feel at this point, this person's really just thinking 
thinking heavily about the things they want to do with you. There's something you may have done recently that, like, maybe you sent them a photo. <clears throat> this person is thinking about your body. All right. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Hmm. All right. So what are this person's next actions toward Leo? We have the Knight of Cups. Okay, so it is kind of like sideways. So I feel like this person is thinking about coming towards you. Maybe they're not able to right now, but they are going to offer you something here, especially when it comes to something with emotion. Um, all right, Leo, that was your reading. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.